One of the very important things that you're going to deal with whenever you're planning your boat is figuring out how far up is the water line going to be on your boat. So this is going to make a difference of how big you're going to make your boat as well. Um, so if we have this sitting up in the water on top of the water too much, it's going to be very unstable and it may tip over if we have it too, too uh, narrow. On the other hand, if we have it sinking way down in the water too far, that's going to create a lot of drag and we're not going to be able to go as fast with our boat. And let's remember, this is a race. So here's how we figure out how far is my water line going to be on my boat. So let's just, I'm just going to use the example that I've got that my daughter and I have been working on right now. So I am around 230 pounds. So we need to figure out what is the weight going to be in your boat first, all right? My daughter's around 90 pounds. And we're going to build a mechanical boat, so I would say it's probably going to weigh somewhere around 100 pounds. Okay? So we're just going to add all of that up. There we go. And so around 420 pounds is what our total weight's going to be, all right? So what we want to do is that 420 pounds, we want to be able to displace that same amount and weight in water, okay? So a cubic foot of water weighs 62.4 pounds. Water actually weighs quite a bit. So here's what we need to do. Our feet cubed of water to be displaced is equal to the total weight of the people divided by the 62.4 pounds per feet cubed. So let's just do that real quick. And I've got the boat weight in here as well, even though it says the total weight of the people. So here we go, so 420 pounds divided by 62.4 pounds per feet cubed. All right, my pounds cancel, so I'm, this is going to flip up here, so it's going to be a volume, feet cubed. So 420 divided by 62.4, sorry, I can't do that off my head or just in division here. So let's get out the calculator and 420 divided by 62.4. All right, so we'll just round that off to say that it is 6.73, 6.73 feet cubed. So that's how much um, displacement volume that I need for that water. So our sinking depth is going to be the feet cubed of water to be displaced, which is that 6.73, divided by the area of the bottom of the boat. Okay, so you can experiment a little bit and think about, okay, well, how much do I want to have? Um, think about some designs um, and how big is that 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 square footage at the bottom of the boat. And you can go metric if you want to, just make sure that your, that your units match. So we are thinking about having ours two and a half foot wide, so 30 inches wide. Um, so I'm just gonna put that down as two and a half feet. Um, and we're thinking around 16 feet long. Now we're gonna have um, some triangles at each end of it to make it more streamlined. But just for the, the sake of this, I'm just gonna think about this as a rectangle just to make it easier. So two and a half feet times 16 um, is gonna give me, 2.5 times 16 is gonna give me 40 square feet. 40 feet squared. Okay, great. So it says the cubic foot, of, foot uh, volume of water to be displaced divided by the area of the bottom of the boat. Okay, well, so I'm going to take 6.73 feet cubed divided by 40 feet squared. So this is going to cancel, this is going to cancel. It's going to leave me with a, a linear measurement, so it's going to be in feet. So 6.73 divided by 40, 6.73 divided by 40 is... 6.73, missed my decimal place, so I have to run it again, 40, all right, 0 0.16825, well, I'm just going to multiply that times 12 real quick, just to give me an answer in inches, so that also equals 2.019, so basically 2 inches, right, so that's a pretty good depth to be at. Two inches, three inches would also be pretty good. 
like I said, you don't want to get into that like half inch or like one inch mark to where it, and, and it's very narrow to where it is unstable. Two and a half feet's pretty, that, that's going to be decently stable, okay? Especially considered we're going to go with a flat bottom on our boat as well. So two inches is going to be good. That's going to be competitive. That's kind of where you want to aim for. I would not want my boat to sink down eight or ten inches. That's going to be a bit too far. So that's how we run some of the numbers to figure out how far does this boat go down. All right, see you later.